the hot dog toaster. Originally sold at CVS for $15. In what year, I wonder? Hmm. Well, hello once again, everyone. 2.30 in the afternoon on Monday, March the 28th, 2022. Welcome to the inside of the Ashton studio. And yes, I have been at hard at work trying to slog my way through all of that paperwork that the government requires you to submit by the 15th of next month. And as you can see here, I've got all the months of 2021 uh, organized and I've calculated out the miles and now we just and the earnings now we just got to get all write-offs and expenses I'm making good headway but it is a slog and I need to take a little mental health break so while waiting for my clothes to dry at the laundromat I went over to the Goodwill and did a little thrifting and I was not uh, even aware for a long time that uh, kitchen gadgets interested me as much as they are turning out to this is one that uh, was featured on an episode of How I Met Your Mother. I remember Barney Stinson had one in his office. And um, I always kind of wanted... Uh, my cat just climbed up in my pantry. My cat just climbed up in my pantry. Dashel, Dashel. Get... Why are you doing that? Where was I? I saw one of these brand new at a Radio Shack in Arcadia, Florida about two years ago, but it was priced at like 30 bucks and I just didn't want it that bad. But seeing it today for $8, I figured, yeah, I, I kind of want to, I want to see what this is about. Does it actually cook the hot dogs uh, and toast the buns properly? Because you know that hot dogs have to be cooked longer and at a higher temperature than toasting buns. So it has to be separate elements. How do you clean it? What, what's the deal? This is in a, it's still in its original box, but it looks as though the box has been opened. This is probably may have even been used. I don't know. Okay, so next part of this video is going to be me unboxing it and, uh, and then testing it out and uh, making myself some hot dogs for lunch. And yeah, let's just get to it. Okay. Well, looks like the original manual is lost. I wonder what that was. Yeah, there's no manual in here, no other paperwork. And it does look like it's been used. I'm seeing some charring right here. Looks like this can be taken out for cleaning. That's with the hot dog, like the hot dog sheath. And then the buns go in there. And this... Oh, that's like little tongs for taking out the hot dogs. Nifty. Okay, what happens when you push this down? Okay, it doesn't stay down, so it must be magnet activated whenever it's plugged in. So let's leave that out. Let's see if there's some kind of tray or opening at the bottom for... Oh, there is, right here. There we go. Yeah. A little crumb tray for cleaning right there. And I guess for whatever drips out of the hot dogs as well. I'm doubting very much you should put, like, sausages in here. Am I putting that in upside down? No, I wasn't. Well, I guess I'm not going back in. There it goes. Went right back in. Hmm. Okay. I'm not seeing a year. Oh, wait. There is a year on here. Product date. 2-27-06. So this isn't a 90s thing. This is an early 2000s thing. Probably around the time that episode of uh, of How I Met Your Mother was made. Maybe they just saw it at a Target or something or CBS and bought it and used it on set. Whatever. All right, let's give it a test run. But first, of course, let's give this a wash. Dashiell, why do you got to be right up on everything that I do? So we've got her plugged in, and uh, there's some settings right here. So I'm just going straight up the middle, three, and there's a stop button as well. All right, so the hot dogs I've chosen are the Oscar Myers Natural Turkey. Get a couple of those out. And then I really wanted whole wheat buns, but the best I could find were these wheat ones. They're made with enriched flour. Not entirely white wheat, but not whole wheat either. All right, here we go. 
Okay, well, it's staying down. Let's let it heat up. Let it do its thing. Well, it's only moments later, and uh, they have popped up, but the buns do not feel toasted. And the hot dogs themselves are not really hot. They don't feel like they're done. So if something has gone wrong, maybe it just needs to warm up. At any rate, I am going to set it to four and a half and push down again. And if it pops too soon, push down again. And Haywood Banks. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to give this another try and see. Now, yeah, there's definitely a lot of heat coming off here. Uh, but you don't see the glowing elements. It's not one of those. So they must be housed inside this uh, shield here somewhere. But yeah, it's definitely putting out heat. It is working. Just a matter of getting those settings right. Oh, okay. So the hot dog is starting to bubble right there on the side. I can see that. Let you guys get a closer look at it. Yeah, see? All right. Second pop up and okay. Yeah, we're definitely getting some toasting here. That's that's pretty good. Let's uh, pull one of these hot dogs out. Okay. Yeah, now that, see, that's got some uh, sizzle. A little bit of golden brown right there. Bubbled up a little bit right there. So it's feeling like uh, those hot dogs that were, you know, on the rollers in the gas station. I, I would say this is, is, they're cooked. They're definitely cooked. So, yeah, it took going down once on the three and then once again on the four and a half. Maybe you just have to, oh, there, that's a good toasting. All right, let's eat them. Okay, yeah, the toaster is a keeper. That's not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take it back to the goodwill. It's a keeper. It's gonna be very convenient to be able to cook just two hot dogs at a time out of the pack. All right, so I'm going to finish up my lunch here, get this uploaded, and then uh, start on the paperwork again. <sighs> well, this has been a nice little mental break. Thank you, everyone. And make sure to indicate that you like this by hitting the good old thumbs up like button. Subscribble, turn on the noties. I'll talk to you down in the comments. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.